Welcome to another video from Cardboard East. My name is Jay. I play board games from Asia and share what I find with all of you. This is Oh My Orchids from Aura Game. Today we're going to be doing a nice quick uh, teach and play. And here I have the game all set up, ready to go. Up here are the purple uh, orchid cards, and you're going to take the deck here and splay out three. Here are the red flora cards. You're going to take the deck and splay out four. These are the brown seed cards. You're going to take the deck and splay out five. Then you're going to give each player one of these player aids. These are double sided. One side shows you how to play. The other side shows you how to score. Now, depending on the player count, you're going to give the second, third, fourth, and fifth player uh, one, two, three, and four cards from the top of the seed deck. We're gonna play a two player game today. It's me and the lovely Lady B. And we're gonna go ahead and start the game. It's Mrs. B. <laughs> That's right, you worked very hard for that, Mrs. I think I worked harder than you though. Um, now, on your turn, uh, you're going to do uh, one of two things. First thing you could do is, well, you could take seeds. When you take seeds, you do either you take all the same number, meaning that these are twos here, or you take all of the same color. Either way, you're going to take them and put them into your tableau here, or what we call the garden. And the most you could ever have in your garden is seven. Now, you can overdraft, like you could draw eight or nine, and then all the excess cards, and you could choose which ones you want to get rid of. All the excess cards you'll take, flip upside down, and put underneath your scoring card. And these will count as negative points at the end of the game. So you don't want to overdraft uh, when you can help it. After you take your seeds, the seed display will be refilled, and then it'll be the next player's turn. Now, I did say earlier that you do one of two things. You either take cards or you plant flowers. Once you have enough seeds in your garden, well, then you can plant a flower. And you do that by fulfilling any of the requirements here. And they're all very different. Uh, some of them, such as this one, the Night Copsia, it's like three cards of the same color. Here's one here, the Spider Lily. It's four cards of the same uh, seed count. It doesn't matter of the color. So here's the Torture Ginger, and then you can have any number of cards you want, so long as the total number of seeds is equal to 12. Now naturally, the red floor cards are a little bit easier to obtain, and the purple orchid cards are a little bit more difficult uh, to obtain. So like this one, it's the Tiger Orchid. The Tiger Orchid you can get with six cards of the same color. Now the purple cards are worth more at the end of the game. The red cards are worth fewer points. The game will end once someone has seven flower cards, at that point, all the other players in the game can take one more action. They can't take any more seeds, but they can plant more flowers. Once everyone has gone, they're gonna empty out their garden and they're gonna do their score. How do you do the score? Well, each flower card here will have points on the card that show you how much they're worth. They do range from three, I believe the Glycopsia is here, three, and then there's a Vonda card somewhere here in the de purple deck that's worth 10 points. So that'll be the range, three to 10. You're gonna add up all those points. You're gonna look here at your end game scoring card. If you have four, five, six, seven cards that are all have a different name, well then you get three, six, 10, 15 points. So you definitely wanna go the unique route and get that bonus. Then finally, you'll subtract any cards here that you might have gone from overdrafting, and then whoever has the highest score wins. There is a tiebreaker, and the tiebreaker is whoever has the most orchid or purple cards. If you both have the same number of purple cards, well then the game ends in a tie. And that is how you play. Do you have any questions? Okay, she is, she is good to go. Mrs. B is good to go. And I'm going to be the gentleman, and I'm going to say ladies first. Uh, I drew a green four here. I'm going to place my garden here for all of you to see. She's thinking, and she's thinking. The part of the trick of this game is that you definitely want to see what the other players are up to, because if they're going for one particular flower card, and they'll probably be ahead of you, so you shouldn't go for the same flower card. You should go for something else. Okay, she chose three red seeds, it is now my turn. 
I have already have green, so I'm going to keep on going with green. She's kind of upset there, but <laughs> I don't care. Oh, she's trading in three cards of the same color for a white Copsia worth three points. And then these cards will simply just go to a discard pile. This refills here. Now there are different kind of strategies in this game. Uh, one of them is to kind of go strong into Flora. And that way you can end the game sooner before your opponents have a chance to get any flowers, such as myself. Or you could just focus on getting the purple cards. I am stuck here with green. I'm going to go ahead and take this one little blue here to start. Ouch. She's taking all of that. And no green, no green. Ooh, that's going to hurt. So I am going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to bite the bullet and take both these. Now I have uh, way too many cards, so I'm going to choose one to discard. And if this is the case, then I will choose, I will choose uh, this one to discard. So that's going to be a negative point for me at the end of the game. Oh, she's going for blue. I will spend six of my green cards here. And then now I will get the Tiger Orchid, boom, 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 which is worth eight points minus one because I had to, I overdrafted there. Now, what's really interesting is that this game can play really well with. Uh... Oh, oh, she's taking four cards of the same color and she's getting a spider lily. And now it is my turn. Ooh. Now, as the player count increases, uh, the rushing the end game uh, strategy does increase because it is harder to get. Uh, it's harder to get more unique cards, so it does has a slightly different feel on the different player counts. Back to me. I think I will go for green. Ouch, she's going for the fours. I'm going to go for these reds here. She seems slightly upset. Yeah, you have to take all of the number or all of the color. And then now, because you overdrafted, you have to trash one. It's a bit rough. I have five cards. I'm going to take both blue. Oh, that was a heavy breath there because it's <laughs> she's very unhappy. I, I could see her going for the dancing ladies. And then because I took the reds, she lost her third pair. So now she's thinking what else she can get. Oh, she's getting the Kalia Taijong Beauty. Seven points there. Good call for her. And then I get, let's see, two pairs, of, three pairs of color, so. Two red, two green, and let's go with two blue for the dancing ladies. Oh, and speak of the devil, there's Vanda Miss Joaquim. Oh, she's going heavy yellow. So I am thinking that she might go for the Vanda. But we'll see. Okay. None of these look great. I'm going to go for the yellow. 
Oh, wait. <laughs> she... That was a straw exhale from her. She's like, I was going for yellow. How dare you? And she's going for yellow. She's going heavy into yellow. I'm going to take this soul green here. Now that she has all this yellow, what is she going to do with it? Oh, she's going to get this. So that way she can get the bamboo orchid, which is only five. That is my turn. Um, that's going to be quite a predicament for me. I'm going to go with red. So that pushes my garden up to the max of seven. So I'm going to have to buy a card next but can you tell which card I'm going for is the question she is gonna go for the bamboo orchid she's at five cards I am unfortunately only at uh, she's at four cards I apologize I am at two but that's gonna change because I have one green two red three yellow and four blue, which is exactly what you need for the biggest card in the game. And I felt good. But it, it will it be enough is the question. She's looking at that white cops here. I just buy a card now. But she doesn't want to get it because she already has one. She wants to maximize her end game bonus because that means she'll lose five points, potentially five points. If you have seven unique cards, that's 15 points. If you have six, it's only 10. And this game can be quite close. Uh, I think the last uh, game we played, uh, our previous game, I won by 59 and she had 58. So it's it was a pretty tight game. I think right now I have 26, 25, and she has 14, uh, 19. So it is... Close. Now I have. Yikes. Okay, what is she going for? She has red and yellow, two different colors. She may be trying to go for the Lady Knight. I could just grab these blues and then she would smack me. But she's already maxed out, so she can't get that. She has to buy a flower. Um, so I will, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go with the blue. And then now it is Mrs. Bernardo. You're going to overdraft? She's overdrafting. So I'm just going to buckle up and just say, yeah, that's just how it goes, unfortunately. And I'm going to take this 12 and get the torch ginger. And she is... Oh, uh, three. Yeah, there it is. Lady of the night. My momentum is waning, gamers. Let's see, there's a seven there, seven seeds of different colors. Ouch. Okay, so I'm gonna go with these two green, and then I'm gonna snap my fingers, and then the discard is gonna be shuffled and placed under here. Are you ready? Ta da! 30. I have 29 points. She has uh, 10, 
27, 27 minus 3 is 24 points. So it is pretty neck and neck. But she is going to get a lot of cards. So a lot of more new seed cards are going to appear. So that way I can be happy. And am I happy? No, I am not happy. I will take one red. She's looking, she's thinking. She's going green. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll do that. I'll take these uh, seeds, all threes, for the spider lily. Going for the torch ginger. I think I am going to go for yellow. hurt but I'm gonna do it I'm gonna take all the ones that's gonna punish me but I'm gonna go ahead and tuck one here and she gets the den the the den the dendro dendrobrium shaven white five colors of the same color I kind of saw that coming so I was trying to prepare so oh six of the same seed I only have five but I believe I have enough for the Vonda which is four seeds of different colors which is what I have did you hear that large exhale there I think you did and that's me here okay and then that's the end of the game <laughs> Oh my gosh, no, no. Oh, and she had 50, lost three, and got 47. So I only won by two points. And well, that is, oh my orchids, um, it's really tight when you get to that uh, end game. Like once you see someone getting to six, Carnes, you really have to start preparing because you want to have your last action. You want to be able to buy something. I saw that coming, so I try to get the Vanda, which I think is the reason why I won because she was worth seven, and that was the extra like two points I needed. Uh, once again, my name's Jay. I play board games from Asia and share what I find with all of you. I'm going to put some links here to some videos that I think you'll enjoy. See you there.